Good morning! I've been looking forward to this all week. I'm going to be starting a 24-hour reading challenge today. Ah, I have been saying I wanted to do more of these this year, so trying to do good on that. Anyway, welcome to my channel. I'm Sunny. Let's talk about the books that I'm hoping to read. I'm hoping to finish or at least get a good way. I had to put this book down in order to like film a video of me reading other books, but I really, really like this book, so I'm hoping to finish that. I probably won't bring it with me because I think bringing a book around is like a lot of work. And then next is a book that I started last night on my e-reader, Saint by Adrian Young. It's kind of like a prequel to like the actual main series, which is the Fable duology. It's pretty popular. The first book is Fable, the second book is Namesake. Oh my gosh, it's the one with like that redhead, like half face, who's like the entire cover. I mean, the cover is beautiful, but it's like the most falsely marketed book I've ever seen in my life based on the book cover. Because I never picked up this book because based on the book cover, I thought that it was like very fall, like autumn theme. Like it's probably gonna be like about like fairies because of the title fable and the way that the book is designed like i thought it was gonna be a fairy book and you know i don't like fairy books like, but no it's actually not that at all it's like a ship book gem trading and like just everything that is like not what this book looks like based on the vibe but anyway because i thought that the book was about fairies like even though it was everywhere i like wasn't interested in reading it right i went to the bookstore one day and then i just saw like you know like how they have like the bookshelves but then like special books that they want to promote they put on like the butt like the one where you're like walking across the aisles it's like facing you and so on one of those shelves i saw this book saint and kind of illegal I saw the cover and i was like i knew that i was sinning normally like not that embarrassed or ashamed to like pick up books and like figure out what they're about but once i saw the cover and i was like oh i want to know what that book is about um i like had shifty eyes like, suddenly i was so self-conscious the half face of that guy oh who is that i originally thought that it was a trilogy because i saw that there was another one i forget what it's called there's like a third one so i thought it was a trilogy but turns out i searched it up the third book is actually not like the third finale it's actually like a standalone companion about like another character like a new character so maybe i'll read that i actually got it on my phone just in case i wanted to read it if i really love saints and i'm like okay i want to read more about this world then i'll read that book what is it called i know that it's forbidden love that's why i'm like oh <laughs> Maybe I'll read that. Oh, it's called The Last Legacy. Saint is a character. He's like the father of Fable. I feel like his story is like so much more interesting to me than like the main story that was happening. Like everything that was alluded to like in his past and like the love story. I was 100% more interested in reading that, but I was like, okay, I think I need to read this in order to like fully understand that. Anyway, it's almost 11 now. I'm wondering if I should get an audiobook too. So let's see what's available. I'm thinking maybe this The Last Bookshop in London by Madeline Martin because I started reading this a while ago. I had to return it to the library before finishing it but i remember liking it because it's also historical fiction i was 10 percent of the way through maybe i'll keep listening to that i guess we'll start the challenge reggie steggy go okay i'm gonna have some good soup we're gonna go of this mall. I don't know if you can hear me. Just sat down here. I'm gonna put my headphones on, read my book. Four hours. Actually, the audiobook that I've been listening to, I had it on in the background while I was like walking and stuff. 59% of the way through it. Maybe I should explain what these books are about actually. I'll do that eventually. And then in terms of Saint, I'm like that far of the way through. So I'm probably just gonna continue reading Saint. I'm gonna put my headphones on, listen to rain sound, and then we're just gonna relax and vibe. Also, I'm actually in my hometown right now. Like our family doesn't live here anymore, but we did before I went to university. And I like grew up in this town. And so it's always so nostalgic for me to be back here. Finally back home. Oh my gosh, we're almost exactly in time for hour eight. But I feel like we're making really good progress because I'm literally almost finished Saint 71%. I feel like I can finish it tonight. I definitely need a shower first and eat dinner and stuff like that. But I feel like I never properly like explained what these books are about. So like I said, I'm almost done Saint. That's one that I want to finish tonight. And I knew it. I literally knew that I would love this book. I'm a genius. Because you know what I love? I love watching two people who are destined to fall in love fall in love for the first time 
it was teased all throughout like the fable series how he like had just like the biggest like deepest uh, most amazing like catastrophic love for her like how his entire life got turned upside down like how it changed him like it is hyped up so much in that book series and i was like oh my gosh like i have to read that book isolde is the girl our girl main character isolde and saint but saint's real name is elias you get to switch between their point of views and i feel like that was money moves i think that my biggest like gripe with fable the original series was that fable as our main character was probably i think she was the least interesting character to me i definitely was way more interested in like the guy main character west but we like never we never was in his point of view and never really got to see like his story like i wish we had a companion of like his story that would be amazing but in this story like i love saint both of these characters are so complex i love saint i love isolde way more than i like fable like, i love watching like two people try to fight like especially the guy like saint fights his feelings so 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 hard and i love it so much the pining like the yearning the like being in denial that's the good stuff i've been highlighting so many things in this book like so many things to book journal i just love it so much like it's actually so good oh my gosh this might be a five star like this is like in the past right so like i already know how it ends you're like finding out like what made him like this like what happened and like i know it's gonna break my heart like i know that it's gonna break my heart which is so sad to me why does it gotta hurt so good in the original series like saint i don't know how to explain it like he like runs a really big trade and so in this book we see him like before all that and like him trying to get his first trade and get his first ship and get his first crewmates and stuff and then he becomes like one of the goats so and then Isolde is like running away and she like begs for passage on like his ship and then ends up joining him as a crewmate but she like doesn't want to stay and she like always has intentions to like run away and stuff but obviously we know how it ends but I'm excited to like see it happen and then the last bookshop in London okay honestly this is an audiobook which means that I don't really pay that much attention to it World War II historical fiction oh inspired by the true story of the few bookshops to survive the blitz we have our main character her name's Grace Bennett so she comes to London, gets a job at this bookshop through blackouts and air raids as the blitz intensifies, Grace discovers the power of storytelling to unite her community in ways she never dreams. I do like listening to like those kinds of historical fictions like on audio. I don't need to pay attention like too too, too much, like I can get the vibe. There's a little bit of a romance in this too. Anyway, okay now let's do a quick haul of the things that I bought today. The first thing I bought was this cutlery case. What I've been doing is like putting a little spoon in a ziploc bag and I feel like that's like not very environmentally friendly. So this is a little case and it has little portable cutlery. Oh, I'm so hungry. The two things that I bought were $3 each. <laughs> Big oversized little Henley sweater. <gasps> Look at that. It's this little cami and it's like rose colored. I feel like I see versions of this all the time on TikTok. Navy blue parachute pants i have been looking for some random big t-shirt i just wanted a random t-shirt for gymming and dancing the random one for the hamilton tie cats i'm so excited to finish saint i do not want it to end no in i just spent the last little bit literally i assumed the position i just have this throw blanket that's not mine it's my roommate's my pillow and i just lay here like this <laughs> looking like a whole shrimp to finish this book because oh my gosh i literally love this book so much i'm gonna read it five stars should i read the last legacy that other book i was talking about okay the next book that i already started reading but i'm gonna probably spend the rest of this night reading maybe circus train by amita parikh i haven't even gotten to like the meat of the book yet so why do you guys see my Snatch bald hairline. Oh no, you're gonna see. No, my do good. I was strategically hiding the fact that my hairline goes so back. Our main character is a girl named Lena. She's the daughter to this man who's like a really good magician, like an illusionist. And this illusionist gets recruited on this man's circus train, hence the title Circus Train. Lena got sick as a baby and she uses a wheelchair. It was really hard for her to make friends, but Lena finds solace in like studying, like sciences and stuff. Like she loves studying science. We follow her since she's like a child. Child, and I'm pretty sure all the way until like her teen a boy named Alexander ends up like stowing away on the train He's like an orphan Lena ends up finding him and they nurse him back to hell He ends up befriending Lena. And so that's where we are right now It's kind of like Lena's first time ever having a friend. Obviously 
gonna fall in love. If they don't, I will throw hands. Alexander ends up training to be an illusionist under Lena's father too. Apparently, the two of them end up getting arrested and have to perform in a town for Jews. Alexander is Jewish, but they kept that a secret. So, I'm this far into the book. I might read like a chapter of like The Last Legacy too, just because I want to see what it's about. <laughs> that I haven't talked yet today, but good morning. I checked the time and I have less than an hour left. So I guess I should probably say something and say hi. Also, my hair's looking very crazy. Look at that. Do you know what I feel like? I feel like Anne Hathaway before her makeover scene in Desiree's, like Mia, all of us pretending like Anne Hathaway was not already the most beautiful, gorgeous woman to ever exist on this planet. I think I have 50 minutes left, so I'm definitely gonna try to read as much of this as I can. Oh my gosh, I want peanut butter. I finished my peanut butter. <laughs> anyway, I just love like the childhood friends to lovers that's in this book. That is like the reason why I want to finish it. That officially concludes the 24 hours of our 24 hour readathon. About halfway done now. Okay, I actually really love the enemies. Not the enemies. <laughs> the childhood friends to lovers in this. It's like done really, really well, I think, like in the way that I like. I'm not really the biggest fan of like childhood friends to strangers to lovers. Like I know that trend, like I know that trope is like in a lot of romance books. I honestly just love like a true childhood friends. Like we just see them from childhood all the way through, like in chronological order. Like, and this is like a true childhood friends. And I, I love it so much. Our apartment for like two months they see each other after two months and like when they see each other for the first time puberty is really hitting them like a truck <laughs> like he shot up three inches like we all know when that happens like i was actually talking to my roommate about this like remember like the glorious couple of years in like middle school and stuff when all the girls were like growing had our growth spurts like a lot earlier than like the guys and then and then like a random time like in high school like suddenly all of us like shoot up like three feet and it's like oh, what the hell and they look like 30 year old men now and it's like really weird this actually happened to me like with one of my friends from like middle school and high school like he was genuinely the shortest one in our class like he was always the shortest one in our class the, a short king like, throughout our whole life and then over one summer like this man literally shoots up and i didn't recognize him the first time i saw him I was like, that must have actually been painful on your body to have to grow that much in such a short period of time i really enjoyed the last 24 hours i feel like i've been reading some really really good books i also started reading i forget i didn't say this but i started reading the last legacy like i said that i would cave and do last night i ended up caving part of like this really renowned like crime family who like trades fake gems and we learn about them and we get to know them in like the original two books. I don't know. I think I really like this author's writing because it isn't like shallow empty fantasy books. I don't know how to explain it. Like actually I don't need to explain it because I know that you know what I'm talking about. Anyway that's gonna be all for this 24 hours. This was a good weekend. I should do these like more often. That's gonna be all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more 24 hour readathons or 48 hours or whatever you want. Follow me on my socials. They're all linked in the description and I'll see you all in the next one. Good fortune Toby.